Now, if you've been following this series, you'll know that by now I have a, a text adventure game um, that contains a map containing rooms, and the rooms can contain treasures. But now the adventurer, the player, needs a way of looking to see a description of the room and a description of the treasures it contains, and so I've had to implement a look command. Now, the first thing I've done is I've added uh, the string look here, or L as a short uh, alternative. I've added that to the uh, commands list. That's the list of, of commands that are understood by the game. And down here in the method that uh, deals with input from the user, I've added uh, these case uh, sections up for L and for look, and they, when that's found, either of them is execute, uh, executes the look method because there isn't a break after the, the L, so that would trickle down. Both of them would, L or look, would cause uh, the look method to execute, and this is the look method um, that you can see here. Look gets the player's room, that is the current location, and then it calls the describe method. Now, that method, let's have a look at it here, that method, the describe method, returns a string, giving the room's name a description, and then a description of the treasures, that's down here, in that room. Now, that's provided by the describe things method of the thing list class, and here's describe things. Uh, and this method goes through the list of treasures to make a string containing the name and description of each of them. Now, the show room description method, let's go back here, that's this method here, it's back in uh, game.java, that method uh, is run after the player tries to move to another room. So, for example, the go e, the go east method up here, uh, that would call show room description to show the description of the room that you've just moved into. Now, if there's no room in that direction, the constant direction dot no exit is returned. You can see that down here, as I explained in a previous lesson. In that case, no exit, the string no exit, is displayed. And this method is also called when the game is first run. So you see a description of the room, so let's try it out. So, uh, here's me, me running my game. And you can see that I've got a description of the room. And if I move, let's have a look, I move east. And again, it gives a description of the room. It shows I, uh, the room I've moved into, uh, along with the things in the room. But if I try to move north, I know, because I created the map earlier, I know there isn't an exit in the north. Well, now it displays no exit. So that's how I get the description of the room and the things it contains, or no exit. So now I've got rooms containing treasures. The player needs to be able to take treasures from a room and then drop them in some other room. And I'll explain how to implement taking and dropping in the next lesson. Download the source code for these lessons from bitwisebooks.com. This Java series is based on the C-sharp programs that form the basis of the little book of adventure game programming available from Amazon.